Hey guys, how's everyone doing? This is the Sentinel watching over Geekdom, and welcome back to another Sentinel vlog. It is that time once again, we are doing another Big Finish unboxing. This one from... Whenever the last one ended to through to October. Yeah, I don't remember when I did the last one, and I should have looked, but... You clicked on this video, it's in the title. I'll edit it in post. So yeah, you know how this normally goes. I unbox, I commentate, and I ask you for your thoughts on the stories I'm presenting. So, let's just jump into this. And I completely forgot how I ordered these. I was going to try and keep them in order order. So, the in the order I ordered them and in the order I received them, from mo from the furthest back to the most recent, but yeah, I don't think I kept them in that order. So, let's just go right into this with this first one on top. All right. Oop. And we have our first Vortex from August of 2019, advertising... Rose Tyler, the Dimension Cannon, which I have not gotten. I'm not a big Rose fan. And The New Adventures of Bernice Summerfield, Volume 5. A set I have a little more interest in, but I just haven't gotten yet. I really enjoyed the first four sets of The New Adventures of Bernice Summerfield. On the whole, Volume 2, The Triumph of Sutek, is my favorite, but individually looking at the individual stories that make up the sets asking for a friend from volume four is my favorite story anyway enough about that what i got in this set was oh no it's already cracked now i should have a replacement case somewhere the diary of river song series six i really enjoyed series six i already shared my thoughts and did my review so not much more to say. You already saw what I thought. Next up. Oh. Also, you might hear some background noise. As I say, we are remodeling our kitchen at the moment. So, trying to loosen the tape up on this one. I have to do. And this one, if I can get the vort, if I can get the vortex out, <laughs> I managed to w wiggle the purchase out without grabbing the tape, without breaking the tape, so I don't have to jump cut to getting my knife. <laughs> but yeah, same vortex, Rose Tyler, Benny. Which, by the way, I just want to point out, um, in the New Adventures of Bernice Summerfield recently, Benny has been traveling with an alternate universe version of the Doctor, played by David Warner. And if I ever do my re-ranking of the Doctors, which I'm really overdue to do, David Warner will be on that list. Why him and not the other Unbound or alternate universe Doctors? Because D the David Warner Doctor had has interacted with the main universe, the universe the show takes place in. So, And this is The Eighth Doctor, The Time War, Volume 3. This is my first Eighth Doctor purchase in a long time. I'd mentioned this a little bit before, but I'd given up on The Eighth Doctor, essentially. I did not like that he, through Big Finish, was so serialized, you know? It's like, Oh, you want to know what happened in this story? Well, to know that, you need the context of these previous stories. And to get the context of these previous stories, you need to know what happened in these stories. You know, Big Finish has done serialized arcs before and stuff, but with the Eighth Doctor, it really felt feels like they are making you get everything. And it's just... When I got the Mary Shelley trilogy, I think over a year and a half ago now, I said, I'm done. I don't need more. And then earlier this year, they announced the Time War 3, and that it would have the Valyard, my favorite Doctor Who villain. So, of course, I had to get it, and Time War was good. I really liked this set. The War Valyard was my favorite story. 
of course. And I may have to go back and check out more Wraith Doctor stuff now. There was a sale a little while ago on all of the EDAs, the Eighth Doctor Adventures, which I didn't get because I had so few stories. And even on that sale, getting the rest of them would have been expensive. But And on top of that, I've also heard really good things about the recent Eighth Doctor arc that concluded. Ravenous. Now, the big one I'll say for last, even though it was next in the stack. And I'll open this one, which I think I know what this one is. Ah, this is from September, and September's issue of Vortex is Ravenous 4, which I just talked about. And another reason why I need to get Ravenous, because the final story features four incarnations of the Master. Jeffrey Beavers, Eric Roberts, Michelle Gomez, and Sir Derek Jacoby. And I've heard that that final story, Day of the Master, is actually really good. And the Paternoster Gang, Heritage 2. Which I said is coming up. And what I got here is the Fifth Doctor box set. Now, a little while ago, um, I just blanked. A little while ago, Big Finish had another sale for its 20th anniversary. They had one at the beginning of the year, and they had one more recently. And they had a few things on that sale. Most of them I got digitally, but I got the Fifth Doctor box set. Now, a lot of my friends and a lot of people around say the Fifth Doctor box set are some of the um, Psychodrome and Iterations of I, those are the two stories they make up, are some of the best Fifth Doctor stories Big Finish has ever done. And I've wanted more Fifth Doctor. I want to... I really want to like him. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Well, I mean, I do like the fifth... Uh, that's a tangent I'm not getting into. But also, another thing. If I can do it on camera. My big finish collection, my big finish shelves are getting kind of full. So, I'm going to have to be reaching a point soon where I'm going to have to stop getting physical releases. Unfortunately. I'm really saddened by that, actually. And... So what I'm going to do is in or, is I'm going to get a few more things and I will start talking about that in a second because also right now I'm going to scoot again, sorry. I have them separated by range by in order by range. So I have my collection goes the early adventures, the third doctor adventures, the Fourth Doctor Adventures, the Main Range, the Lost, um, sorry, the Bonus Releases, the Lost Stories, the Companion Chronicles, the Stage Plays, Unbound, and finally the Box Sets. So my plan is to get a few, and my plan is to get a few more Fifth and Seventh Doctor titles, because I don't, because I barely have anything, any of those in physical media, and then... I'm going to stop, and then I'm going to rearrange my collection rather than by range in order. I'm going to arrange it by doctor. And, yeah, there's more to that. And now the big package, which, once again, is taped. And they taped right over the tabs. Great, I did not want to jump cut so I could get my knife, but I'm going to have to jump cut so I can get my knife. And we're back, and I got my knife, so let me cut into the tape and get this open. As I'm opening this, I will say I know what this one is. A while ago, again, Big Finish had a sale on for Sylvester McCoy's birthday, Sylvester McCoy the Seventh Doctor. So I got a, a few of those audios. I don't remember. I know some of the things I got. I don't remember everything I got. <laughs> See if I can get to this first. Another vortex. It's August's again. Rose, Tyler, Benny. And my seventh Doctor stuff. I got Unit Dominion, which 
wow, I was not expecting this to be this green. Because on the website, the cover art is actually really gray, but it's really green in person. Unit Dominion is kind of considered part of the unit range, but yeah, I'm considering this sort of the seventh Doctor box set. And this was a four-part epic, like the Master of Callus. And this is also the debut of the Alex McQueen iteration of the Master, who is really good. And I really like this story. I liked Elizabeth Klein. Rain was okay. I imagine she's better in other stories. She was kind of flat and generic here. Also in this set, I have gotten Original Sin, one of the novel adaptations, which... You know, you saw in the limited edition, I got damaged goods. That was good. So, I liked Chris and Roz. I'm looking forward to that. And this one also has Benny. So, I'm looking forward to that. We Are the Daleks. Which, from its premise, sounded really interesting. Sort of an, a Ready Player One type thing. I don't know that much about it. And... One I've been talking about for a while, The Defectors. Now, let me see if I can find them. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be taking up all this time, but... As I mentioned, The Defectors is part of the Locum Doctors trilogy. When the first three Doctors go AWOL, the later Doctors have to jump in and go on these adventures with their earlier companions. The Defectors is the start of that trilogy and sees the Seventh Doctor team up with Katie, with Joe Grant and Richard Franklin and then continues in Last of the Cybermen with the Sixth Doctor and Jamie and Zoe and ends with The Secret History with the Fifth Doctor, Ben and Polly. Not Ben and Polly, excuse me, Stephen and Vicky. Wow, I don't even know how I messed that one up that bad. But yeah, this was my most recent unboxing. What did you think? What were your thoughts on the stories I got? Go ahead and share in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the bell next to subscribe to get notifications when I upload. In the description box below, you'll find the link to my Ko-fi, where you can support the channel. And you'll find the link to my Twitter where you can follow me and get updates on the channel. This is The Sentinel, watching over Geekdom, and I'll see you guys next time.